How you doing in there, Valentine? Feeling hungry? Want a snack? Keep talking, meathead. It'll give Skinny Malone more time to think about how he's gonna bump you off. Don't give me that crap, Valentine. You know nothing, you got nothing. Really? I saw him writing your name down in that black book of his. Lousy cheating card shark, I think were his exact words. Then he struck the name across three times. Three strikes? In the black book? But I never... Oh, no. I, I... I gotta smooth this over fast. Got it. Hey, you! I don't know who you are, but we got three minutes before they realize muscles for brains ain't coming back. Get this door open! You gotta hack that terminal. shining armor. Question is, why does he come all this way and risk life and limb? An old private eye. Whoa. What? 
What are you? Told you, I'm a detective. Look, I know the skin and the metal parts ain't comforting, but it's not important right now. The only thing that matters is why you went to all this trouble to cut me loose. My son, Sean, is missing. He was kidnapped. But I don't know who took him or where they went. Missing kid, huh? Well, you came to the right man, if not the right place. I've been cooped up in here for weeks. Turns out the runaway daughter I came here to find wasn't kidnapped. She's Skinny Malone's new flame. And she's got a mean streak. Anyway, you got troubles, and I'm glad to help. But now ain't the time. Let's blow this joint. Then we'll talk. Nick. You help me get out of here, and then I'll help you. Malone's crew here used to be small time. Muscled out of the old neighborhood by bigger players. So they found this place. Don't know what happened to the previous owners, but they're not exactly around to charge rent. Empty vault. Perfect hideout. Hey, Valentine. Let's keep moving. We'll talk once we're out. There we go. This is Vault Tech interview number 21 for the position of Overseer for Vault 114. Interview subject, Kimberly Weiss. Hello, Mrs. Weiss. How do you do? And may I just say what an honor it is to even be considered for the position of Overseer. Ever since I was a little girl in mock government, I dreamed that one day I would have the opportunity to lead a community to greatness. My teachers all told me I had leadership potential, and without my guidance as student council vice president, those bake sales surely would have failed. Just the thought of being able to organize and run this small group, to show them a better way, to lead them to a future so bright that they... My goodness. Looks like we're out of time. This is Vault Tech interview number 03 for the position of Overseer for Vault 114. Interview subject, Benjamin Beasley. Mr. Beasley, as Overseer of Vault 114, how would you settle a disagreement between two of your Vault residents? Well... I would obviously take it through the proper channels, assuming neither of their requests were against the law, of course. This is, of course, assuming that the conflict had already gone through all the other members of the Vault's Residence Council that I plan on organizing. Vault Residence Council, you say? Yes, of course. People need government. They yearn for it. I think it's a civic duty of every red-blooded American patriot to serve the... Yes, I think we have everything we need here. Thank you for your time. Oh, already? Well, I look forward to hearing from you soon. Yes, I'm sure you will. Please make sure to fill out your non-disclosure agreement on your way out. This is Vault Tech interview number... 87, for the position of Overseer for Vault 114. The candidate has refused to give his real name and has only provided the name... Supkin Harry? That's right. I ain't telling you nothing. My name is the name I call myself, not the rank and number the government brands on me. No, sir. Fascinating, Mr. Um, Supkin, would you mind telling me why you're distrustful of the government? I've seen what they do. Come up the works with red tape and bureaucracy, take every hard-earned cent and use it to fund their Illuminati, Freemason sex parties. I'm a free man. I should be able to live as I see fit. My taxes pay for them streets and alleys and dumpsters. I'll sleep where I want. Sir, according to this, you haven't paid taxes in many years. I seen the back of them Abraxo boxes. 
not for consumption? Don't you tell me what to do. I'll eat what I want. Sir, you may just be the perfect candidate. How would you like to be the new overseer for Vault 114? I ain't wearing no goddamn tie. Or pants. Some of them coming. There they are. How do you want to play this? His only job is to check on the prisoner. Why does that take so fucking long? Huh? Nick, hey, I know Dana, you have a case you want solved, but underground and surrounded yeah, is not the best is place he? to talk. Doors on the fritz. Let me see if I can get it open. Almost got. There we are. Hell of a lot easier to do when the lock isn't on the other side. Hey, Valentine. You really want to do this here? With these human cockroaches around every what? corner? What? Look alive. What do you need? Got a 
gonna splatter your brains! Yeah! Yeah! So long! Out. Dirty rats. Who's there? The hell? Like this Say hello, I'm gonna try. There we go. Human. I know I saw something. Human, let's play. Alive.
more stairs? Who built this damn fall? A fitness instructor? Got it. Skinny Malone and the rest of his boys are waiting for us somewhere. The name's, uh, ironic, but don't let that fool you. He's dangerous. Another locked door. Shouldn't be too hard. Okay, I got it. But I hear big fat footsteps on the other side. Once we step through this door, get ready for anything. What are you doing? You come into my house, shoot up my guys? You have any idea how much this is gonna set me back? I wouldn't be here if it weren't for your two-timing dame, Skinny. You ought to tell her to write home more often. Oh, poor little Valentine. Ashamed you got beat up by a girl. I'll just run back home to daddy, shall I? Should've left it alone, Nikki. This ain't the old neighborhood. In this vault, I'm king of the castle, you hear me? And I ain't letting some private dick shut us down now that I finally got a good thing going. I told you we should have just killed him! But then you had to get all sentimental. All that stupid crap about the old times. Dala, I'm handling this. 
Skinny Malone's always got things under control. Oh, yeah? Then what's this guy doing here, huh? Valentine must have brought him here to rub us all out? Wait, Skinny. Remember the quarry? Lily June on the rocks? Ring any bells? How the hell did you know about that? Okay, you two can go. You got until the count of ten. Then I don't care what happened back in the old days. You're dead. What are you doing, Skinny? Kill him! No, Dollar. They get one chance to leave. Skinny Malone's putting his foot down. My mother was right. You mobsters are all just talk. We better get out of here, fast. One. Two. Three. Uh, <clears throat> what do you mean to get going before the boss changes his mind? Ah, look at that Commonwealth sky. Never thought anything so naturally ominous could end up looking so inviting. Thanks for getting me out. How did you know where to find me, anyway? Not many people knew where I went. Your secretary, Ellie. She sent me. She did? I should give her a raise. Now, you mentioned something about your son, Sean, and how he went missing. I want you to come to my office in Diamond City. Give me all the details. Besides, I think you've earned a chance to sit down and clear your head. You said Diamond City, right? Yeah, you know the way? Southwest a few blocks. My office is in the back alleys, with the neon heart sign out front. I'll meet you there. See you in Diamond City. Nick. Let's get to my office. We'll go over your case there. Don't worry. Once we get to my office, your case is my top concern. Let's talk when we get to my office.
What? Strong not understand why human always take guard. God, your friend. He's not a, uh, you know, one of them super things, is he? Officer? Hey, you that trader? Up from Quincy? You sell any. <clears throat> Don't talk to me. Might attract someone's attention. Here to pick up a swatter, right? Custom hardware? We got a free workbench for all your modifications. Scopes, clip size, barrels. It's hot to me in my head. Things with Scarlet didn't really, uh work out but that's fine Travis I haven't forgotten what you've done for me you think the radio sounds better these days I'm not getting nearly as many complaints Ellie? Are you here? Nick? Oh, God. It's really you. <laughs> well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday, death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. 
Can we get started on my case? Oh, of course. There's just a small clerical thing we need to clear up. Here. I know an amount wasn't on the table when you went out to find him, but you deserve a reward. Plus a little something extra. You know, if you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. Next up is Cole Porter with Anything Goes. Maybe not the best way to live your life, but you'll get the idea. Bingo. Trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. My wife was... murdered. She was trying to keep them from taking Sean, and they... They just... It's okay. You don't need to say anything more. So, we're talking about a group of cold-hearted killers. But they waited until something went wrong to resort to violence. What else can you tell me? We were in a vault when it happened. Vault 111. It, it was some kind of cryo facility. You were on ice, huh? More importantly, you were underground. Sealed up. It's a lot of obstacles to get through just to take one person. Anything else you remember? There was a man and a woman. They didn't say much. But I remember they called me the backup. So we're talking a small team. Professionals. The kind that know to keep their lips tight when they're on the job. Not sure what the backup means, though. Anything else you remember? We're looking for my son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? Why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. Well, that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. Hmm. A lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the Gunners, and of course there's the Institute. 
So you think this institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, that infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. A discarded prototype, anyway. You're a prototype? As far as I know. Never seen any other synth like myself. There's the older ones that are dumb as rocks and all metal, and there's the newer ones that are almost human. I'm somewhere in between. You don't know anything about them? Really? Some kind of security setting strips or blocks out those memories. And it's not just me. Any synth that gets trashed, left behind, or escapes the Institute has the same problem. Probably some kind of failsafe. Either way, I need to find Sean. You're right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? One of them came right up to me. Bald head. Scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? Who is he? Do you think he has Sean? Hmm. Way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned West Stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. You said he lives here? He's still in town? They both vanished a while back, if I'm remembering right. But that house is still there. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part.
part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. Institute treats synths like tools, tossed away without a thought. Hey, Valentine. Kellogg's house is this way. I uh, didn't want Ellie to hear this, but I think you should know. Everything I dug up about Kellogg before his disappearance? Bad news. He's more than just a mercenary. He's a professional. Quick, clean, thorough. Has no enemies, because they're all dead. Except you. Nine to one odds says he's our man. It's more than just you identifying his distinguishing features. The M.O. is all him as well. Leading a small team to kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later? Not many mercs in the Commonwealth can pull that off. Hey, Valentine. Follow me. Let's check out this house Kellogg left vacant. Well, what do you know? The door's not even locked. Head inside. Let's take a look around. Kellogg must have left something behind. Place seems small to you. Figured a guy like Kellogg would think big. Uh, nothing here. Did you check out that desk? Well, that's one way to hide the room. Look at this. All of a Merc's favorite things. Humans should not take junk. Less space for guns. Nick. Check out what's on that table. Gwinnett Stout beer, 44 caliber bullets, and cigars. San Francisco Sunlights. Hmm, interesting brand. Won't lead us anywhere on its own, though. Any suggestions, Nick? Hmm. What about dog meat? A Commonwealth mutt like him can track a man's scent for miles. Why don't you go fetch him and let him have a whiff? See if he picks up the trail. Uh, before you head out, uh, I know this is personal business. If you have to face Kellogg on your own, just say so. Besides, you already have plenty of company. You can't all go sniffing through the Commonwealth after one man. Any words of wisdom? If Kellogg really is the one who kidnapped your son. And he's dangerous, but so are you. You don't need to be afraid of him or 
or anything else the Commonwealth throws at you. I want you with me on this, Nick. All right. Let's get that bastard. This is your show from here on out, okay? You say jump, I'll say how high. Hey. Go ahead. 